This is a problem that has existed ever since we invented children. And it's one that was addressed this month at the State House when the governor signed an anti-bullying bill into law. Today I sign into law a strong, sound bill to stop bullying in Massachusetts schools. Some of the highlights of the new law, mandatory anti-bullying instruction has to be incorporated into the curriculum. Schools must update their bullying prevention and intervention plan twice a year. Staff is required to report any bullying to the principal who must investigate and contact police if they believe a crime is committed. And parents of both victims and the alleged bullies must be notified. Do you think teachers, principals, superintendents like yourself are under a microscope right now? Absolutely. Which means school superintendents across the state, like Natick's Peter Sanchione, are putting in some long hours to stay on top of a problem that's dominated the headlines. I mean, we've got to amend policies. We have to have reporting procedures. We have to put principals in respons responsibility. We've got to report it to the law when we deem necessary. All these sudden changes to address a problem that's been around forever in varying degrees, from the more common harassment... I was bullied a bit in school, too. I was a little overweight. ...to the more severe forms, such as what allegedly took place in South Hadley. I believe it is a criminal offense because it's like uh, committing emotional murder to another person and psychological murder to another person, and these students need to realize that. But many people, especially those in the legal community, say not so fast. What we've seen as sort of normal behavior with kids over the years now becomes criminal. And it's a dangerous situation. While he agrees bullying has no place in our society, Cambridge attorney Sam Goldberg says even a bully's First Amendment right, the right to free speech, must be protected and taken into consideration. Are we likely to see knee-jerk reactions when it comes to disciplining kids who are perceived as bullies? We already have. I mean, I already have. There's been several cases that normally it would be a blip on the radar. The school would take care of it, hopefully contact the parents. But now... They're, the school's afraid to just take care of it in-house. If there's any possibility of getting the police involved, I'm finding that they do that. We need to make sure that um, schools exercise common sense. Robert Treston of the Anti-Defamation League has long been pushing for a bullying bill. And while he believes legislation was necessary, it shouldn't be used in every case. There are, of course, going to be degrees to which bullying occurs in schools. And the last thing that we want is for uh, you know, a one-time disagreement on a playground uh, to result in a police report. Even proponents differ on how to implement the new legislation. Treston believes it should simply be a part of everyday learning. They need to learn about bullying as well. It needs to be integrated into the curriculum of the schools. I'm not sure it needs to go to that extent. Uh, I think there's an opportunity here to teach students and give them the opportunity to understand it. Going forward, schools are armed more than ever in the fight against bullying. The question is, will the new law be a success? I guess if it helps one student experience less of this, then it'll be a successful thing.